All right, thank you. Who is that person that stood? That was so great. Who's the person that did that? Put up your hand. Put up your hand. I want to come on. Bring that person up here. I love that. Come on up here. Come here. Come here. So amazing. Oh, that's class. Isn't that terrible? See, that's what we're all fighting for, that. Isn't that terrible? Who is the person, though? Raise your hand. Who's the person that took action over there? Come here. Come here. Come here. I love these guys. I love these guys. I love these people. Come here. Come here. Bring him up, too. Come here. Do not let them intimidate you. You back this man right here to the hill. They will say anything. They will do anything to keep in power, okay? We don't need who we've got in there now. You're the best we got by far. He's a great public speaker, this guy. Uh, I got two tours of Iraq. I'm a Richmond County deputy. If it wasn't for Mr. Trump right here, I don't think any of us would have the voice that we have. This is the only man that's going to really bring America back. He understands what it means for me and my people out here who have been, to, have, have been to, to war. The police, everything you talk about, Mr. Trump, I can promise you right now, my department and the departments around me, we need you. This is an absolute classic Trump moment. It's, it's not one of my favorites, but from a meta perspective, it's one of the best ones because it shows the kind of loyalty that just an average person has towards this man, just the magnetic charisma that he exudes and then draws you back in. And he has captured the minds and hearts of millions of Americans in a way that uh, Barack Obama never could. Barack Obama was a different idea that things are going to change and that got squashed pretty quickly because Barack Obama is basically light-skinned Bush. That's, that's what he really was as president. Uh, uh, Donald Trump, on the other hand, was a paradigm shift. Changed the way our foreign policy worked, uh, at least briefly. Changed the way we looked at NATO. Changed the way that the rest of the world had to deal with us and they finally had to realize, you know what? It's time we start respecting the United States again. They might laugh in secret at, at, a, at a gaffe by Donald Trump, but now they're laughing out loud at gaffes by Joe Biden. And the people love Trump, not because he's bombastic and ridiculous, but because he looks and acts like a fighter. He doesn't cow, cower in front of the camera. He doesn't backtrack. He says, no, this is what I said. I stand by it. And Americans have been desperate for that kind of person running for office. So it's why he swept, it's half the reason he swept through the primaries like he did in 2016, although we've got to blame the 2012 primaries for that. But people truly believe in him, and particularly uh, suburbanites and rural Americans. It's time to start wondering this. Is Donald Trump just an idea, or is he more of a fighter? And I think if you inspire this kind of loyalty, he is clearly a fighter.